Hi everyone, my name is Espina. And I'm Neda. And today we're going to answer all your Manicamp questions, Mobile Edition. So let's get right to it. So one of the most frequently asked questions that you guys have been asking us is how to add your mobile device as a video source. So whether you have an Android or iOS, you can easily connect your mobile device to your desktop using the Manicam mobile app. In this short video, I'm going to show you guys how to do so. So here we're going to connect to Manicam. So we're going to click the little plus button in the middle of the screen, choose iPhone, connect, wait a couple moments, and then your mobile device should appear. Adding your mobile as a second video source allows you to shoot from multiple different angles because it would work as a webcam of sorts. This feature is especially useful for more DIY content creators as it allows them to easily and seamlessly switch between these multiple different shots. For content creators like Andreas and Lauren who we've worked with in the past and who are long-term Manicam users, mm -hmm. this feature allows them to add more depth to their videos by allowing them to add more angles and more close-up shots so they're able to show their students a more precise look at how to perform certain movements. Yeah, that's amazing for content creators that they have all the tools that they're able to do that to be able to film the best type of content using their mobile device. Another frequently asked question we get is how many mobile devices can I connect as a video source to my desktop application? So how that works is depending on the Manicamp subscription that you guys have will depend on how many mobile devices you can connect as a video source. So for example, let's say you have the free version of Manicamp, you can connect up to one mobile device. If you have the standard version of Manicamp, you can connect up to two mobile devices. And if you have the studio and or enterprise version, you can connect an unlimited amount of mobile devices all to your desktop. So the higher subscription you have, the more mobile devices you can connect to your desktop. So as Despina said, depending on what you would need to use Manicamp for, you are still able to connect at least one mobile device as a video source. Now, if you wanted to connect more than one mobile device, you'd have to go from being a free user to having a paid subscription of sorts. Now, why connecting your mobile as a video source is useful can be for many different reasons, but let's take the point of view of a corporation, for example, who would purchase an enterprise mm -hmm. package. If you're in the broadcasting industry, you're able to connect an unlimited amount of mobile devices as video sources with the enterprise package. So you're able to provide your audience with multiple different shots, different angles from the same event. So the last question that you guys have been asking us is, can you live stream on Facebook and YouTube using the mobile app? And the answer is yes, of course you guys can do that. The only thing is you can't go live both at the same time. So it's either you go live on Facebook or YouTube. You can't do it simultaneously. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to take my mobile device. I'm going to go here to the Manicam mobile app, click on the blue live streaming button and will prompt me to select which platform I want to be on. So let's say I want to be on YouTube. So I'm going to click YouTube, connect. They're going to ask me a bit of details and then there I go, I'm live on YouTube. So it's super easy and super efficient when you're on the go and you want to live stream. Yeah, so as this thing is said, you're easily able to go live all from the comfort of your phone. And what's cool about this is YouTube usually has a minimum subscriber count if you want to go live through your mobile. So just to clarify, this doesn't apply for your desktop. You can still go live mm -hmm. through your desktop no matter how many subscribers you have but you'd need a minimum of 1,000 subscribers to go live on YouTube through your phone. With the Manicam app, however, this does not apply and you could have no subscribers and you could go live directly through your mobile through the Manicam app. That's a great feature, especially for new upcoming content creators. Mm -hmm. Thank you for tuning in to our Manicam Q&A mobile edition. So if you guys have any questions that you particularly want answered, please let us know in the comments below and we'll try to get to them in our next Q&A session. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. If you want to get notified when we make new videos, please hit the bell button below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.